excited tonight. We are at the uh, Farm Bureau Young Farmer Conference and we have the keynote speaker with us tonight, uh, Greg Warren, who is uh, one of the funniest men on earth. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, an ex All American wrestler for Missouri. Right? Yeah, yeah, University of Missouri. Yeah. And, uh, and a farming aficionado. He knows wow. more about farming <laughs> than any other comedian. I don't even know if that's true, today. actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I know that's not true because there's some, there's some farmers that are comedians. Oh, but, uh, wow. Yeah, for some reason, right I just, uh, I, I do have some farming material. Okay. Um, and so, I, you guys kind of told me, but I, I need a little clarification on, on the, you guys were originally like, uh, like feed corn or uh, uh, farmers or? Yeah, so we are farmers right now, Phil and I are. Okay. And we started a business about 10 years ago called Iowa Cover Crop, which we service farmers and sell cover crop seed and application. And okay, so, so you guys don't sell Okay, so you we, sell, we don't sell corn, we raise corn and yeah. beans. So and, um, and you guys sell the um uh the seeds for cover crop, yes. right? Yep. And what and I know rye is a cover crop, right? Yeah, yeah. And there's another one that I r remember. Radishes, turnips. Oats, so okay, so so yeah. if it's a radish is a, a cover crop, yep. does that mean that they don't harvest the radishes? Most everything we sell you can also put in soups. Okay, so they <laughs> but do but pick up, so they sometimes they do pick up the cover crops. Uh, no, they typically don't put the, pick them up as in like harvest a crop, but um, they will put on like a bulb, like a sugar beet will put on a bulb and a turnip will put on a bulb like in the fall. And we usually, so like James and I both graze our cattle on our cover crops, so they go out and they get uh, fed on turnips and radishes. Okay, but you, but nobody's like uh, picking the radishes Yeah, we're not taking them to the, the grocery store. No. Right not yet. I don't understand this concept. This is my problem. The, the, the joke that I have is that the first, uh, the first interaction I have with a cover crop. I was in Illinois, uh, and I was like, "Hey, what's that?" He goes, "That's rye." I'm like, "What are you gonna do with that?" He's like, "Nothing. <laughs> it's a cover crop. We just, you know, uh, till it underneath the ground to make the ground healthier." And my point is like, meanwhile, you know, there's. Uh, some Jewish guys in Brooklyn in a deli that would like to have a corned beef on rye sandwich, and you're too lazy to pick exactly. that up. Exactly. Yeah. So Bill, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill sells beef. Tell him about your beef enterprise. Yeah, my idea. So like, but you're doing it. We also use kale as a cover crop, and I wanted to market my beef to like hipsters in the city as kale raised beef. I thought that would. At least double the value. Yeah, oh, we, I don't think we could charge it. You're not asking my question. Answer my question. Like, so all this stuff, you you actually grow kale just to make the ground better. Yes. yes. And you 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 just no harvesting. Is there any party that's like maybe we ought to pick some of it up? It's a it's a crop. <laughs> you <laughs> could make a salad if you want to. That's a lot of salad. Yeah, that's a lot. I of mean, kale. but like, what about for yourselves? You'd be like, hey man, I mean, I know a place like. Do you buy radishes at the grocery store yeah. when you have radishes just yeah. sitting out there? Why? Is it like a <laughs> principled thing that I'm not picking that I up? I mean, A, we're 3,000 miles from Portland. That's a problem. Yeah. What do you mean? So like, you can't sell that much kale here. I just, just, wait a minute. This is not my question. My question is, for your personal consumption. I do pull some kale and radishes out. Do okay. not. But you can only eat so many. Like, if you've got 500 acres of radishes, you're going to have a hard time eating. You know, yeah, but, but, but like, why wouldn't you pick them up for like the people within a mile of you? So our problem is what we do, we blow a lot of seed on over cornfields, right? So like in September, we'll fly it on with an airplane. Okay. And by the time you harvest the corn and then that radish gets a little bit of sunlight and then they winter kill. So first frost, they're dead. Yeah. And a lot of times you only get, you know, this much growth and that much growth, you know. Oh, so, so you're, they're, 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 you're, you're killing them before. You're growing them mostly for the leaf. Okay. Yeah. So by the time, that's what you were talking about. By yeah. the time it blooms. It's not ready. It, right. you, you guys are already, you're done with it. Well, and kind of like sweet corn, a friend of mine always says the body can only digest so much sweet corn, as we all know. <laughs> yeah. Body can only digest so much kale, too. I get it. I, I, I get it. But he, I mean, you're not picking it up at all. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think I'm beginning to understand. So you guys, it's done with by the time before 
it actually gets to be something you would. Uh, right. All right. Yep. All right. My questions are somewhat answered. <laughs> um, so, so you've talked to cover crops on like radio shows, on comedy shows. Like, what do you talk about cover crops about? Oh, very limited, man. Like, I have like two or three jokes about okay. cover crops. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I got, I, I know nothing. Like, okay. I, I, I just skimmed the surface on farming, to and uh, and found out how stupid I was. And then I get into something like this, and I'm like, there's even less than I know. <laughs> um, yeah. But. You know, for some reason, it made made uh, people laugh. So right. I, I stuck with it. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what good. What I like is when you talk about uh, the the crop that doesn't end up looking so good, and then you just uh, you just say, "Oh no, man, that's yeah, that, that's cover crop." Yeah, yeah. It seems like a built-in excuse for a bad farmer. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, James yeah, and I yeah. screw something up every year. Do so, you? So like, that's what we tell people. Yeah, crops. yeah. It's like a cover crop. I don't <laughs> think so. I don't think so. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, yeah, as a, as don't you remember a, what I was saying? <laughs> as a comedian, we tried to find the most um, racy name for our podcast or YouTube channel yeah, yeah, under yeah. the covers. Yeah. As a comedian, you know, you're used to sometimes, you know, comedians can get kind of dirty sometimes. Yeah. Is, can you find, can you think of any other dirtier thing than get under the covers than the, as a comedian it, mind? Well, I mean... I'm actually not really dirty as a, as a okay. comic, although, you know, I, my mind certainly has gone there, but I mean, I think, I don't see any reason to change the title. Okay. I think it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice title. I mean, I think, yeah. you, you know, um, I think, I think you got a good title. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, that makes us feel really good. <laughs> yeah. When this <laughs> as thing, a professional, when this thing, when this thing miserably fails, don't yeah. blame it on the title. You okay. Know what I'm saying <laughs> it might be you guys. I'm yeah. Saying, I'm kidding. I'm totally <laughs> kidding. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm really not. Uh, <laughs> at least we'll have a good URL yeah, to set. Right. I can tell right? you you're at. You're gonna be like, hey man, right. this, uh, yeah, things didn't work out. We just had the wrong title. No, no, no. I, I think <laughs> it was a content, guys. I, 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 I think. Uh, yeah. So we probably should plug the uh, Farm Bureau Conference. Yeah, um, we probably should. Even though by the time we get this edited, it'll be over. 35 and under. Um, you know, if you're a farmer that's 35 and under, look into it next year for sure. Yeah, come, come, to, a, come to a conference if you're 35 and under, and you can hear a 53-year-old guy speak to you. What could be better? <laughs> what could be better? <laughs> but it is a great place to network, and James and I are seniors here, so we won't be able yep, to this is our last year. year. Oh, so. really? They just kick you yeah, out? Yeah, just yeah, you, yeah. You, you aged Age out. discrimination. So. It's interesting, though. Like, so you guys, it's a, it's a natural progression. You, you are no longer allowed to come here, but... You can run for president next year, I believe. Oh, yeah. 30, 30, so 30, 30, 30, yeah, 30, we're 30. not doing anything yeah, next yeah, year. Yeah. It's basically yeah. just a stepping stone. Yeah, it, it, yeah. A lot of a lot of the uh, of our nation's presidents, uh, I think. Uh, Joe was here forty here. years ago. Yeah, yeah. Years. yeah, yeah. And then we should also plug your. Uh, do you do any tours or what is do you all the time, man? Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, all the time. Uh, I have a website, Greg Warren Comedy, but uh, who cares? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I play. I actually play uh, in Iowa quite a bit. I, okay. the, I think I'll be at the Iowa Funny Bone, uh, the Des Moines Funny Bone, in like uh, in March, okay. which is a really cool. Nice. It's out in West Des Moines. But uh, do comedians yeah. call it playing when you play? Yeah, I mean that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm playing there, playing it there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, telling jokes or whatever. Right. Um, uh, it's I, the actual event is called a gig. You know, that's what sort of like inside it's like but we're not really like yeah i got a gig but there's always like uh, it's funny outsiders will, will sort of use that word in the we're like we, 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 when are you gigging i'm like uh, nah, man, that's not that's not how you say we, it we we know as gig. much about comedy as you know about cover traps probably. okay all right yeah um <laughs> now uh yeah and you're you're the wrestling fan yeah right, right yeah, yeah. And, and, uh yeah i'm i'm a i'm a huge wrestling fan I uh, spent a lot of a lot of time in college in this state uh, losing. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> who? Yeah, who was your like toughest competition in Iowa? Um, you know, I never really. I don't think I really had to wrestle anybody from the Hawkeyes, other than I wrestled Tom Ryan in the off season, who's the Ohio State uh, head coach. Uh -huh. we, we, he beat me, but it was it was a pretty close match. Uh, but there's a guy from Iowa State that uh, used to just uh, punish me. Uh, a guy named Tim Krieger, actually, who was uh, yeah, Krieger was a two-time national champ, and I believe 
a three-time or, or four-time finalist. Uh, it, like, I think he lost twice in his college career. Jeez. Yeah, there were some days when I lost four, <laughs> like days. I, I, I think, but uh, yeah, I, I uh, Krieger was. Um, I don't, I'm trying to think. Like the Hawkeyes, when, when I placed my senior year, and, and Ryan got second, I think that year. But I didn't wrestle him during the season. I wrestled the guy that was like a red, one of the red shirts or something like that. Uh, well, I know you're speaking at 7:30 or 7:15, I think, and Iowa and Penn State wrestle at basically the same time. So my no, heart's it, a little it, torn. Is it? I thought it was nine. Was it nine Eastern? Oh, I bet it's Eastern. Yeah, I thought uh, I was thinking it was 7:30. Yeah, so no, it's, it's either eight or nine. You can catch this. We can catch it. I'll go fast. Yeah, <laughs> wrap, just yeah, just wrap it up as quick as you can. Seven but, minutes. Uh, yeah, just so just so we have it on the record. Who are you pulling for here, Greg? Um, I, I can't. I you know I, I don't care for either team to be really honest. <laughs> I'm a Missouri guy. Um, I will. You know I, I really don't. Uh, I don't like either of them. Yeah. Um, other than I I think they're really really good. Uh, and I, I want to watch every minute of it. It's, sure. it's, I don't know if I've seen a match, and I follow college wrestling pretty intently. I don't know if I've seen a match where you have this many high-powered guys uh, in a duel, and then it is, ev almost every match is, is kind of a toss-up, you know? Yeah. I mean, it, it, every match, I think Iowa at 84 is a significant, underdog I think kind of 49 57 65 uh, Penn State are significant underdogs um, but the rest of them you know it's you, you got these like guys like oh that guy is one of the best in the country and he could lose <laughs> yeah you know yeah. it'll be fun for sure so but um, hey Thanks for coming under the covers with us, Greg. Appreciate it. That's yeah, really God, fun. that sounds weird. Man. No, <laughs> yeah. It sounds way weird. I, I was a big fan of the name until you just said yeah. that. No, I feel like, Senator uh, Joni Ernst yeah. told it to us once, too. Yeah, so. I feel a lot more Who said awkward that? telling Joni Ernst? Me. U.S. Senator. She said, yeah. thanks oh, yeah, for going under covers with us. So, you know, oh, boy. you're a good uh, company. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks for having me on, guys. I, I, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being on.